Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to City Skylines. This is the sprawling city of Engetopia and unfortunately we're not going to be here today. We're going to be somewhere else. So we won't get to see any more of the underground airport. No more spaghetti junctions and no more infinite poo. I mean, I mean power. It's powered by poo. Because this little leaking Atlantis area, which I would call Engelantis, but um, it's it's not really working. It's very much leaking. Uh, it gave me It gave me an idea. A thought. Dangerous, I know. And it got me wondering, could I engineer a city that could survive a tsunami? I used to do drainage and flood alleviation design for a living after all. So, we're on a new map that I downloaded from the Steam Workshop, and here it is. I should press pause, but you can sort of see through the fog, there is a big old tsunami heading towards the land. Uh, which is partly the reason I chose this map. The other reason was, there's a very, very strong shaped river. And basically, I'm going to build a city, and then we're going to defend it against the tsunami in a load of different ways to see which is the best. So the game is still paused, so I'm going to get everything built first. So it looks like someone's gone a bit mental with the roads and the railways. But uh, let's quickly just take a road off here. We'll sort of go down to the coast. We'll do that sort of layout for the middle. That looks really cool, to be fair. Although imagine the carnage of that junction. <laughs> Oh, that's going to be interesting to see how they cope with that. So, something like that should be good. We'll just go into the zoning thing and we can paint this however we want. We've got the unlimited zoning mod on. So, whatever we paint will get built. So, I'm sort of thinking high density living in the middle. Got some high density commercial. Got some offices and then more living. And then the industrial up this end. There we go. Next, we just need some drainage so we'll just go under all the roads and that's everything drained up but we do actually need to take this to the water source so i'm going to go to the yeah, river over that way we'll have those there and then we'll have the intakes, sewage so outlet downstream of it just and then they just need pipes, some power so i'm literally just going to give them a wind turbine well. and then i think that's most of the essentials done so now i've pressed play you should see there's a lot of buildings being built people building their houses and as the city's growing if we turn around we will notice that is a big big wave <laughs> i think someone hasn't noticed down there and we're going to be putting our engineering skills trying to defend the city and i will say the city is booming look at it pop up if i were to fast forward as well what a lovely sight but of course the downside of speeding up is as you walk around the city you will see on the horizon <laughs> that's quite a big wave making its way in this direction oh wow you can see there's like a there's like an inverse wave as the water is being sucked towards the tsunami right i think we need to start thinking about how we're actually going to do this because our city's pretty much done so i reckon let's hit save by the way i was just looking through some of my old save we got airtopia can you remember that we got bridgetopia good times we got the three versions of pollution as well as spaghetti topia oily woily which i'm guessing was this and then the punama canal with the inverse <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this save will be called the Queen's Right Hand because she waves, doesn't she? Oh, well, I'm back behind the tsunami. Speaking of waves, <laughs> check out this cruise liner. <laughs> Hang in there, mate. He's literally broadside to all the waves. I'm not sure that's the most clever thing to do. Anyway, I've got a city to protect. And as I want to use my real life hydraulic engineering skills, we're going to be doing the five step proposal to try and fix this. So the five step process that I use every day in my actual engineering job, you got to one, think about the permeability. Do we want water to pass through, perhaps pass around? Next up, we need a design that copes with elongation. Are we able to make this wider? Because our town is pretty wide. The tsunami is infinitely wide. So something that needs to be thought about. Third one is Newton's third law. Now that's just common sense. I'm not even going to go into that one. The fourth one is impact. We've got to make sure our design can cope with the impact of the tsunami. So I have to look at the water density, the water pressure, the speed, velocity, all that sort of stuff, which comes on to the fifth and final step, the strength. We need to make sure whatever we design has the strength to withstand the tsunami and keep our residents dry. Now you might think those five things, they're pretty hard to remember, but we can narrow it down into a very easy to remember acronym, pennies. So just remember pennies and you'll be able to remember the simple five step process that'll help us defend against any tsunami you might encounter in your real life. So for the first step, I do actually, I want to sort of see whether deflection will work. So if we come into the landscaping tool, I'm pretty sure there is, yes, the water structures. And if we were to build a wide and deep canal, perhaps we could use this to deflect the tsunami around us. Like if we did like a three prong 
strong solution and then sort of send these up there. I mean, I might even want to sort of do some like some sort of wider ones like this. That sort of looks like it might help a little bit, maybe. What's... Oh, no. Okay, the wave the wave is actually quite big. Um, I mean, also in here, there is the flood wall. I mean, if you were to top our canals with this, I mean, they're really... They're not the tallest flood walls you've ever seen, actually. <laughs> but, oh, look, the... Uh, where, where's the water gone? Oh, no. Oh, dear. I tell you what, that does actually give me time. Let's, let's hit pause quickly. I'm going to use that to my advantage. I do actually think if I were to do enough canals in front of this it might actually deflect enough water. So I'm thinking that sort of thing. And then if I extend all of these back quite a long way, like that, bung a few more flood walls in. Yeah, I, I'm not very confident about this one. <laughs> Uh, it should be interesting to see what actually happens, though. I mean, to be fair, that is a fair volume of water. That could actually work. Maybe. Potentially. So let's play this in fast motion and see what effect it has. You can see the actual wave is definitely getting affected. And it is shrinking. It's shrinking quite a bit. I don't think it's going to shrink enough. Oh, oh goodness. <laughs> uh, sorry, everyone. <laughs> these people just walking to work. Like, they literally just look in front of you. There's a wave coming. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Okay, we've been eclipsed by the wave. I think we're going underwater. Oh, no, look, I'm being lifted up. Wow, okay. I properly underestimated the power of this wave. Uh, my stripey boys pretty much did nothing. You can see it took a little bit of the wave off. Yeah, essentially, essentially not great. I think we probably need to think a little bit bigger, specifically taller. So we've gone back in time, back to when the wave was all the way back there. Now, I wouldn't mind having a little go. If we go into this water tab... If we scroll to the very end, I've got the super mega super water pump. Now, this is what I used to drain the sea previously. So I know that these work. And what I'm thinking is, could I make like a wall of them? Perhaps like a 45 degree slope or something. So if I go to build another one of these, you'll see I can only place it on the shoreline. That's green. If I try and place it back there, no badness. But if I press K a few times, I can now place this wherever I want to. And that's thanks to this mod, Building Anarchy, if you want to copy. So first... First off, let's delete that. I think what we're going to need, we're going to need a bit of terrain work. We come to the terrain tool we want, level terrain, or if we shift first, we can set the heights that we want. So let's use the large brush, then this brush strength will go up to the max. And then we've sort of got to eyeball in how tall is that? It's pretty damn tall. So let's start in the middle and basically let's just build a point. Okay, so I think something like that should be good enough. So we'll go to the level terrain tool, we will right click on the top there and then we're literally going to build a plateau and this is going to stretch around our city something like that right next up grab a pump and let's see how big the oh look all right that's good i can make this i can make this like half as wide so we'll do this sort of thing along here go all the way around the edge same thing over this side as well and then let's see how these fit so if we had one there another one in front yeah, that could be okay, actually. I think as well, if I turn on Fine Road Anarchy, which makes our little Tweety Bird go from a normal bluebird to a fire-raging killer bird. <laughs> now, then we can literally place these anywhere. We can, like, stack them inside each other and all sorts. I think that's probably what I want to do with this. All right, I think this will be fine, actually. If I just slowly work my way around, make the top one a bit wider again, do another layer and another one. And then with these lower ones, we should get to a point where it just blends into the hill. Yeah, look. Look at that for a corner. That's pretty nice, that. I like that. So we'll just continue doing a few more steps. Yes, I'm well aware we're sort of in the water now, but uh, I'm an engineer. I can, I can play by my own rules. All right, nice. I feel that's almost set up perfectly for all my pumps now. But what I want to do first, I do actually want to delete these two pumps. And I just sort of want to see how this would work just like that with no pumps on it. Although I am thinking, I think the water will just spill around the back. Yeah, sod it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to extend these. I'm just going to extend these till they meet the ground, which is about there. Oh, and actually, I may as well... I may as well just do one side and we'll see if it does actually make a difference. So the tidal wave is coming. Oh man, it's... <laughs> I feel like it's going to be very tight whether I built my wall tall enough. And look at all the water being dragged back. That's only going to increase the height, I think. I don't know what's going to happen as it hits that slope. Is it going to push everything up or is it going to push it around? Oh, it's tight. It's tight. What's going to happen up here? I'm a little bit scared. Oh no. Oh no, <laughs> the water has definitely breached over the top. Oh goodness. Yeah, now the wall is sort of working. It's pushing it back. Now over, over on the side over here, it's actually working okay-ish. I mean, I won't lie. 
There's definitely water coming in and destroying my city. <laughs> oh no. Everyone's just getting washed away. Look at the buildings. Boosh. Oh, they're being flattened. That is all that remains afterwards. But yeah, you can sort of see on this side, if it was high enough, the water would be kept on the outside and it would be dry. Whereas on this side, you can clearly see the water just comes around. It's rushing down here. So my city would have been flooded if I did not extend. So we saw how that went. Let's reload this. And let's cover it in pumps. So with the anarchy active, let's grab these pumps. And then let's start placing them down. So hopefully I can just copy these with the move it mod. Yeah, that's that's actually working very nicely. Thank you, mods. All right, then just fill a few more in manually like this. All right, and there we go. There's a load of pumps. <laughs> Oh, it took so long. Right, now we need to now we need to do the really painful job. We've got to connect these up with pipes. Can you see all the little warning symbols? Which means we've got to go along and we've literally got to click between all of these. I mean, at least we get a really nice sound effect that definitely isn't grating after three hours of doing this. Oh man, I do honestly wish Paddy had opposable thumbs so I could hire him to do this. And you, yes you, Mr. Know It All commenter who's about to comment saying, Matt, if you'd just done it this way, it would have been way easier. You would have done it in two minutes. No, just don't. No, this is how I'm doing it. This is the only way to do it. If there's a better way, I, I literally don't want to know. Please, please don't tell me in the comments there's a better way. <laughs> Why does it have to make that noise? My finger hurts from clicking too much. Right, I think that's the final ones. Yes, okay, so they're all connected, but they have no power. Now we're gonna need a lot of power to well, power these. Oh, I've just really I forgot to do I forgot to do this end. I forgot to do this end. Hang on a second. Right, there we go, there we go. Okay, so yes, we need power. So let's go into the power tab. And let's just have a look and see how much power each of these produces. Zero to eight megawatts, zero to twenty. 40 120 1600 i don't i can't do hydro unfortunately we don't really have a capacity all nuclear plant 640 as well all right so as much as i do want to use a nuclear plant these will actually use water and you might be thinking well matt you've just put loads of pumps in but yeah but remember the water like drains before the wave gets to us so i think that's just asking for trouble it'll be a vicious cycle if i'm trying to power pumps with a nuclear plant that needs water it's it's just a it's a disaster waiting to happen i think so I'm instead going to grab these, the solar updraft towers, which need to be placed on a road side. What? I'm not having any of that. Let's press K. So let's just go mental and shove these all the way along here. Oh, hang on. Do they do they actually need a road? Why do they need a road? Oh, okay. Hang on. Hang on a second. So we'll place a few of these down. And then hopefully when we press play, they should all power on. Yes. Oh, look, we're making 9,000, no, 10,000 megawatts. No, these need water as well. Damn it. Why does everything need water? All right, question is, is there enough water being pumped that it will work? I mean, if I just sneakily connect that to down there, then we should be good. Oh, yes. Yes, you can see the first line of defense has started sucking water up. Now, again, we got two different things going on here. I've got the I got the long arm on this side. I've still got a short arm on this side because I want to see, should this arm work? Will the water not work on that side? I don't know. Anyway, let's fast forward this and see what happens. Now, the thing theory with this one is as the wave gets closer, each layer of pump should suck it up and therefore lower the height of the wave, which hopefully means it won't overtop. And if you're asking where do these pump to, like where does the water go, um, just don't, don't worry about that. Details, details. All right, we're in fast motion. The first few pumps are there they're, they're they're trying actually they're doing no they're not doing they're not doing that good although although is it working i think it's working it's eaten the wave it's eaten the wave look at that <laughs> So this is about twice as high as it needs to be. Now, this is going to be the interesting bit. Over this side, because we're at a slight diagonal, I'm not actually sure water will get round. It'll be interesting to see what happens. I think we can pretty much guarantee that this side is fine, though. And look at that. <laughs> The Tsunami Defender 3000. Ah, oh, yes, look. Over this side, the water is creeping round, which means some of you guys down here, you're a little bit at risk. Because although it just looks like a little bit of water, when we actually compare it to the size of a building... It's pretty mega. I mean, so much so, I think a lot of these buildings are going to be swallowed. Yeah, look, they're all collapsing. So it didn't quite work over this side. However, over this side, we're looking very, very good. And actually, is it is it receding? Or is that just our pumps? No, I think that's our pumps working still. I mean, look at the wave over there. <laughs> 
You can see our city took the biggest chunk out of the way. That's so cool. <laughs> I was not expecting this to work. Not in the slightest. Usually if I spend like four hours on something, it's guaranteed not to work. But yeah, you can see even on this side, this is the extended end. The traffic is getting washed away as the wave heads round. So I'm wondering, I mean, technically I should extend that maybe. I definitely need to extend this arm. But look at that. That is, that is decent. I'm impressed with myself. Well done, Matt. Pat on the back. So I think I'll just tidy this up a bit. I'll probably extend this arm and then I might try and use like canals and flood walls a bit up that end. We'll see what it looks like. Right, so this is what I've come up with. <laughs> it sort of looks like Attack on Titan, like the city from it. But yeah, basically we've extended these up both sides. Now, I've then added a load of canals and walls and stuff at the back. So hopefully that will work. Let's just watch this wave be disintegrated by our pumps. I do I do quite like it. Yeah, you can see the water's getting thinner and thinner. The water's gone from the middle. That is... That is awesome. But yeah, my theory up here was as the water gets drunk by the pumps, hopefully these canals will be enough to sort of catch it. And you can see I've linked these canals up, so each arm sort of links back, meaning hopefully the water will flow back into the sea and not into my city. Uh, we do have gaps in the flood walls, though, because we've got, we've got little mini bridges for our motorways. Pretty cool. Let's hope they survive, because uh, that's quite a big wave heading towards them. <laughs> But yes, yeah, so far, everything sort of close to my city is sort of, it's almost sitting in the canals perfectly. If any spills over, it is getting pumped up. And then we've got two more canals over here, which hopefully means we might be okay. I don't know. I really have no idea. This is all theory based. This is actually sped up, by the way. It's, it looks pretty slow, but it's, it's full speed as fast as you can go in the game. And it's sort of looking like we might actually have enough capacity in these, in these channels. Channels. I'm actually, I'm feeling fairly confident now. I'm actually feeling confident. Let's go see how the other side is doing. Yeah, this side, I think we've definitely survived. The main wave is heading over that direction. I mean, unless it rebounds and comes straight around the back. This is the weak point. I didn't want to go into there. There's, there's obviously some groundwater issues going on. <laughs> Didn't want to get involved with those, being just a surface water drainage engineer. But yeah, back over this side, I think we've done it. I think we've actually defended the city. <laughs> oh no, oh no. How many people spotted that sheep? <laughs> I literally didn't, so if you did, fair play. Yeah, turns out we've literally made the strongest sea defense in the world then. Fair enough. And on that note, I will say peace, love, and the Tsunami Defender 3000. Bye, guys.